Hola. Um, I think we're about six o'clock. We just wait for her to visit her and make sure she's together. On the Facebook page, you need the main page for staff. Just can't get on it. Yeah, he was on the page. Two seconds. <laughs> Perhaps we're not going. Are we live? I oh, can't get there, it online. There. Got you. I'm there, there you go. So click on that, make it bigger. There you go. There you go, you're in. Right, so we're in. Got two people Two people watching. Okay. Well, we won't start this yet. Okay. Three. Um, we all have drinks in hand. Five. Um, is the music too loud or is it all right? Someone give us a heads up. Can you still hear me over the music? If not, I'll turn it down. Can you let the wife know? Oh, what's the comments? Darren's in, Geraldine's in. Good. Jen's in. Yeah, can we all hear me? Janet says hi. Hi. Lisa Louise is in. Oh yeah, I've got Lisa's doing it. Yeah, the veggie options. We've got a few veggies in today. I've actually done the veggie. I'm going to do it along with it. So I'm going to do a chicken one and a veggie one. I didn't want to put it on the page. I didn't want to confuse everybody with what we were doing. Geraldine, are you able to get a little closer to the speaker as you're a bit faint? A bit faint, am I? But Lucy can hear you. Do you need to turn your thing up, Jez? Hi, both of you. Hi, Jez. Yeah, turn it up. I'll try shouting. Hi, Ed. Ed, Ed, Ed Farvin. Hi, Dick. Hi, daughter. Hi, daughter's in. Right, so we'll give it about five minutes. We'll let everybody go in because I don't want to start without people. Mark James. Hi, Mark. Oh, it's Mark then, is he? I didn't realise Mark was doing that. Anyway, I'll tell you what, what, what we do, we? if you remember last week, we um, we ran a little competition. I said everybody can spot the hidden merch and whoever sort of gets all ten of them wins a prize. Two people entered. <laughs> Obviously, you were too engrossed in cooking your chocolate and mousse cake. One person actually got 11 out of ten. Well, they don't know how they done that, but they got 11 and the other person didn't. So, the winner of, uh, what's his name? Bennett, St. Bennett. Tracy. Tracy Bennett. Tracy Bennett. You had all ten. So, Tracy Bennett. You winner. Ah, oh, it's back to front, isn't it? Because I'm filming it the other way. That actually says Pie Man, believe it or not. If I turn it that way, does that make it any better? Can you see the Pie Man now? Of course you can. Stupid. There you go. So, you've won a plate. So I'll sort that out with you, you need to message me. I know you're not working tonight because you're a nurse and you're doing something, you're working at night, I remember you telling me. But you are the grand winner of a pie plate. Whilst everybody else is there, you know, if you want to purchase a pie plate, we do sell these, you could have your butter chicken curry on it tonight. Gemma can hear you pie. Talking of merch, we do koozies. So you can have a pie man koozie. Which these, you use to hold your beer in. Stops your hands getting cold, stops your being getting warm. Genius. Chris Austin's watching. Chris Austin, alright mate, how's the baby? Right, so, aprons on everyone. And we have Pyman apron, so if anybody wanted to do the next one in a Pyman apron, let me know. I've got about four or five left. They're I don't need sign it. I'm not signing it. They're adjustable. They can go right around there, look, i got a big fat belly and I can tie mine right around there if I want it. But I'll add it on the back. So anyway, let everybody get strapped in, strapped up. Right, is everybody in? We've got 36. 36. Right, what's the time? Do we go on and start? Yeah, go on. Right. Chris thought they were Pineland condoms. What? Pineland condoms? You've seen the size of them, I wish. 
Right, first up then. Your dad's watching. Dad's watching. Hey dad, right? Is Tracy doing it? I think she is. Harry. Harry, I keep forgetting. I think she was. Uh, it's my dad. Right, anyway. Is he doing it though? Bomb made potatoes. First thing, chuck your oven on. So you want your oven on about 190. I got like a little tiny oven and a big one, so I'm only going to use a little one because most of our cooking today is going to take place on top of the stove. But we just want to put the bombays in the oven, so flip your ovens on, 190. Johnny Dell's watching. Oh yeah, Johnny Dell's doing it, ain't he? Alright Johnny? Right, so oven on. Everybody got their ovens on? You then want a pan for the potatoes. Right, so I don't mess around when I'm just peeling them. Lot like, people were asking me stuff in Germany. She wants to peel them. Nah, we just chuck in the skins, or ace. Don't, don't waste the skins. All the goodness is just underneath anyway, in the dirt and stuff. That's where all the best bits are. Same with fruit. Chuck away the fruit mm -hmm. stuff. Well, it lets it's hard. Right, so take a pan, fill it with some water, get it boiling up. And bees watching. Bees watching. Hi, you bee. I owe you all down an apology, don't I? I was like slagging him off yesterday on the thing. Apparently, it was you sticking your nose in. Leave Darren alone. Let him do his cooking. Don't bug him. <laughs> Love you, really, Bee. Right, anyway, water in the pan, chuck it on, get it going. And a bit of salt in that. Right, everybody keeping up? So depending on, obviously I don't know how much people are making because it's a loose kind of recipe here. Yeah? So if you're only doing enough for two of you, obviously you need to cut down on stuff. I'm basing my, what I'm doing today on four portions. So if I'm putting like three chillers in, you copy me. But if you don't, you put less in or more. The heat all changes. So if you want like a hotter one, chuck more in. If you want it real mild because you've got kids eating it, just make it mild. And it's like a nice tomato-y sort of, you know, just slightly sort of curry. It's entirely up here. This is the beauty of doing stuff like this. You can make it exactly how you want it. So Bombay potatoes. Um, I've got four about that size. I'm going to dice them up. You want them sort of thickish. You don't want like um, you don't want uh, small. So I've cut that into quarters. I'll show you that like that. So you've got like sort of two inchy type bits. So dice them up. Chuck them in the water. We're going to give them about sort of eight to ten minutes. See that one slightly bigger, so I've done that in the six bits. You can see all that, yeah? So, however many potatoes you want, that's what you're doing. So, two people, you only probably need two potatoes. Three people, four potatoes. Alright, so is everybody out with me? Everybody on their potatoes? Matt might need a minute, he's just tuned in. Alright. If you need me to go through it, Gemma, let me know and then I'll go back over it. I'll stop at each stage so everybody can catch up. Everybody like my knife? Oh, that bad boy. I need for everything. I'm not reading that out. <laughs> Mummy go mad. Geraldine's already cut up tapes up, doesn't matter if they're small enough. Nah, it's just he's put them in the oven less. Right, so there you go, there's my spuds in there. So they're whizzing along, they're going to take about 10 minutes to cook. And then what we're going to do after that, I'll just let people catch up, I'll go through for the people that are there already. Uh, we're going to take in our pan, we're going to slice our onions, we're going to put our coriander seeds in there, we're going to put our mustard seeds in there, a little bit of fresh chilli, we're going to fry it off in some oil, chuck in some curry powder. When the potatoes are like sort of half cooked, we're going to drain them off, then we chuck them in there, a little bit more oil, and then bung it in the oven for about 25 minutes. And I'll show you how to cut the onions a different way because you don't want onions that are too thin. You want like the chicken, you want them to stay together. There's a different way of cutting them to like normal. So then you get like oniony curry in the thing, not burnt. So that's that bit. So we'll let everybody catch up. When everybody's got the potatoes on, got the oven on. Just do some thumbs up. If I get a lot on there. Yeah. Everybody is doing it, gives thumbs up. We've got a list of roughly how many sort of baking. So when I know you're all up with me, you can let us go. It's little Helen on it, I've not heard from little Helen yet. Oh no. She probably don't know how to do two things, does she? <laughs> yeah, no, you already found her as well, aren't you? Yeah. Right, so for all those that are up to this stage, 
we'll crack on a little tiny bit and we'll start getting our awesome. next bit ready. Right, so you want like a woki type sort of pan, enough that we can um, sort of shallow fry some garlic and ginger and stuff in there. Not ginger, we don't have ginger in that, do we? Uh, the, no, the curry powder, the poppy seeds, and the uh, coriander seeds. But we Darren's don't want... skipping the potatoes for chickpeas. Alright, yeah, cool. Oh yeah, I forgot to say this, some people might not be doing the, the potato part, yeah. they might just be doing the butter chicken. But obviously I wanted to show everybody the different sort of, few different things to make the whole complete meal. Jess is going to come back later when you're doing the chicken. Jess is... <laughs> kids, kids. Right, Jess. anyway, for those who are doing oh, Bombay Josie's potatoes... just watching. For those who are doing Bombay potatoes, uh, we're going to crack on and uh, get the next bit in. Resident Pepper in the house, Josie, just appeared. <laughs> right, so, onion. Take your onion, peel them. I got told off last week not playing wagons, so uh, put wagons on. Oh, not. Just ask something. Is that Wokey 1, 2 or 3? Uh, that's Wokey 4, in <laughs> Russian. <laughs> Is it hot? I'm hot. It's hot. I'm fine. That's because you've got a long top on. Perhaps I need to get a change. Josie's doing a few substitute due to availability issues around this park. Yeah, what's your... get chicken. What's she substituting? Mary's chickened out. Mary's chickened out? Oh no! <laughs> so, so they're not doing it at all then? Oh, she's doing it, but I don't know what she's doing it with. Right, chocolate. So, she's probably doing chocolate. Chocolate. So take your onion, Ooh, you're dropping it everywhere, I don't want to do that. So instead of slicing it like the conventional way that people tell you, Oh which God. is like that, we do it that way, and it just keeps it, and cut it into about five, so I don't want thin slices. Or even four, four, four's great, oh, so you want... Claire's got a mouldy onion. That's right, peel the outer skin off, it won't be mouldy inside, you'll be fine. Just keep going down, peel the layers, you get down to it, you'll be alright. So you want chunky, chunky onions in your wok. So I'm going with one onion. I'm going with a, uh, that's rape seed oil with chilies in, so I'm going to have a, like a little bit of chilli oil in there as well to get a bit more heat. But you can go with your standard, whatever oil you use, and you want about two tablespoons of that into the pan. <coughs> Potato should be boiling, mine is starting to boil now. Right, so mustard seeds, did people get hold of these? I don't know whether you could, I've got loads in, see? They're like, um, where's the camera up there? They're like little tiny seeds like that. You want about a teaspoon of them in there. Then we have the coriander seeds. They're like sort of bigger mustard seeds. Someone earlier asked me if they could put powdered coriander. It's not quite the same, because when we cook these in a minute and all, they explode and you get like little pippy flavors. But if you put coriander in, you get too powdery because we're having curry powder in it and that anyway. So again, a teaspoon of them. Yeah, potatoes are right. Yep. Chili, just chop it up roughly. Don't worry about hips and all that seeds. Just chuck them all in there, everything. This doesn't have to be, you know, fancy. Just chuck it in. You also, I'm doing a recipe here. Normally, I do everything by head, but I've had to write all what's in my head down on paper in case I miss something, because I'm telling you to all buy it. But this cooking and doing this kind of freaks me out a little bit. Right, so we are the Yeah, right, so basically in here now I have that. So I have chilies, I have oil, whatever your preference of oil is, it'll be fine. I have mustard seeds, I have coriander seeds, I have onion. So now we're gonna gently fry this off. Do not burn it. Just put it on a nice low heat, do not burn it. Everybody's potatoes coming along good? Ed's had his first beer. He's had his first Oh, I, I'm not drinking, am I? <laughs> that is why I am hot. 
Oh, got one. Right, so we should all be at the stage of you. Potatoes should be boiling, which mine are. I've got my uh, onions and my sort of like Bombay mix is on there, like warming up gently. And hopefully everybody's at the same sort of stage. Mark's on his second cider, so no, he's a bit ahead. Mark's ahead. He's on his second cider. <laughs> and you'll notice if you did have the poppy, uh, the mustard seeds, and the coriander seeds, you'll start hearing them pop. Can you hear? They're like starting to pop, and some of them do go a bit like popcorn. They do sort of pop out of it, but not a problem. I'm burying my eggs. Josie. I'm burying my eggs. I'm burying my eggs. Oh, you've not a clue. Don't even know what that means. <laughs> I'm not even going to ask. I'm beating my eggs. I've beaten your eggs. That was last week. <laughs> so you're doing chocolate mousse cake again, yeah? Make sure you use a fruit processor, not a fruit blender, then, to do the chocolate and biscuit base. I mean, the one thing I did check, I hope everybody's marinated their chicken. I didn't ask that part, did I? I did pop a video out yesterday, so I'm assuming everybody's marinated and got that on the go. She <laughs> just logged her out herself out, so she can't see that. <laughs> right. She is so technically in action. I'm trying to get comments. Right, so recap on everything for the people who maybe have just enjoyed. Potatoes should be diced, they should be boiling. I know this is like I'm repeating myself a lot, but people do, they're all doing it at different stages, and it's the only way to do it. If you get behind, message her, she'll tell me, and then I'll like That's catch you back up. Yeah, if you don't turn it on. Yeah, so. Potatoes should be boiling, they're probably going to be getting there in a minute, we're checking in a second. Your oven should be on 190, and you should have coriander seeds, mustard seeds, onion, fresh chilies, frying in some oil in the pan, which you can hear right there. So your mum, just squeeze in. Hi, your mum. <laughs> you hear that? Oh, goodness, sir. Uh, so I'm not burning it, I'm just doing it at a nice gentle heat. Right, check your potatoes. She just says that smells nice, so I'm assuming your house should be starting to smell nice as well. No, they're all come out. Uh, Janet's just doing butter. Butter? I'm just doing butter cooking. Oh right, so they're, yeah, they're watching. Yeah, some people just didn't drink, so you're just going to have to sit and drink until you catch up. Or until we <laughs> catch up with you. Right, so potatoes, go and check your potatoes. You should be able to put a knife in them, they should go halfway through before they hit the thing, so then that's about right. Mine are done, so I'm going to strain them off now. Can you check with Jez, because hers are smaller? Those, you should have took yours off, Jez, otherwise you'll end up with mashed bomb potatoes, which won't be a bad yeah, thing. but. Nice. Right, so if your potatoes are cooked, turn them and take kick them out. Right, my potatoes are out and they're ready to go. I can hear my fat boiling. Or you can see it's now all the boiling, yeah. That's right, well hold on. Do you stick a lid on them? You got a lid on your pan? Stick a lid on your pan. Hello, Peter. Hello. Right, there we go now, see that? Oh, yes, the potatoes are so hard as well. All right, keep going, we'll hold on for you, not a problem. So, there's mine there. Yeah, pop the lid on, right, so... Helen, yeah, I'm just doing chicken, another glass for me. <laughs> Good right. girl, Helen. So now into that Bombay mix, you want about a teaspoon of, if you had garam masala and you were lucky and you could get some, use that. I've got just a bog standard curry powder. Basically, it's, it's nicer if you have that. Curry powder, people don't quite get it. Curry powders are blends of loads of different things. 
So when you have a garam masala, it's just more fragrant than like the Madras one, and they, they just put different herbs and uh, spices and things in it. So garam masala basically is just like a curry powder, but so I've got that. I want about teaspoon to two teaspoons into your pan with your mustard seeds and all the other stuff that we've got. Give that a little stir. So now you should have some sort of like curry like oily sort of chili onion everything else that's in there and then we flip our potatoes into that. When do we start drinking the shots? I'm only here. Shots to are coming now. That's Mark. Potatoes in there. You don't need to heat this or anything now because it's all still hot. Just mix that around. And being at the potatoes, we like a bit of salt in there. So season them however you like your salt, how much you sort of like in your potatoes. Right, so that's Bombay potatoes done. What we do now is you take the pan that you're going to cook them in, or baking tray, whatever it is. I always use a bit of silver knife paper, it's going in my tray, but it just stops the trays burning and stuff. I'm good like that, so it saves her out and wash up burn trays. Claire's loving the music. Claire's loving the music. Oh, of course, she's huge on them, isn't she? There we go, so that's Bombay potatoes. They now are ready to go in the oven, but we won't put them in yet. We're going to get a salsa done first. I'm going to leave these on the side because they're only about 20 minutes away. So then there, if you want to vary it, you could chuck in some peas, a, you could chuck in some cherry tomatoes into that, put more curry powder into it, more chilies, make it hotter. But basically when you get to that stage, add in whatever you want into it and then just chuck that in the oven, bake that for about 20 minutes and then you've got like little Bombay potatoes, piece of cake. Piece of cake and easy. Right, so Bombay potatoes done, how long are we taking? What's the time? Uh, 22 minutes past. 22 minutes past, that's yeah. 25 minutes Even just to do the Bombay bit, potatoes. For the chicken. Right, I reckon by the time we get on with the chicken, hopefully everybody should be eating for about half seven. Because chicken, once we once we get cracking on with it, isn't going to take long. Should I tell Jess to join in now? No, because we've got salsa to do now, we've oh. got salsa. Do I do the salsa? I've got salsa stuff. Salsa is just a bit salsa? topping. How many want salsa? Hands up. And how many thumbs up? Can we have thumbs up for everybody to go? If you're not ready to go, can you let us know? If your potatoes are not up to scratch at the moment. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up? Three. Keep it coming. I think that's Harry and Lisa. I'm trying to recognise them. Oh, Claire's, Claire's up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because she won't do potatoes, is she? Uh, Josie said yes, salsa. Right, salsa. I've gone for mango. You can do any kind of fruit. Basically, you want a nice soft fruit that's sweet, and then we mix it with limes, onions, jalapenos. I prefer jalapenos over chilies because they're in the brine and they've got like a little pickly taste. So you're already on the road to a salsa with them. And then just a bit of salt and pepper, and it is amazing. But you can put, you might have pineapples. Some I did say you can get eating tin pineapples is good. Um, uh, peaches, I know somebody's got peaches. Um, any fruit, anything that's sweet. So you've got the sweet and the sour. Mark wants us to do the salsa. And it works. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing the salsa now. And if <laughs> no, you want to. Oh, the salsa down. <laughs> if you want to vamp it up even more, I used to do a starter with this, so we'd make it a really, really, really hot salsa and we served it on melon and we actually used to put vodka in it so we'd have a vodka salsa served with melon it is mental i mean it sounds crazy for a start but it was, it was booming anyway so mangoes i'm going with mangoes i don't know what everybody else got let me know what you all got so this is a bit of boring chopping now so nice bowl put it all in Right, 
so I'm going with a mango. Good. Mango. Oh, she's. Uh, Mark has pineapple. Lisa has mango. Lisa, get a potato peeler. Peel it. Darren's got tomato. Just tomato. You didn't go for fruit. You needed fruit. You need fruit in there. Helen said, "Did you say vodka?" Vodka. I did say vodka. Tin pineapple, yeah. Geraldine. Tin pineapple's fine, just chop it up. Oh, Lisa has pre chopped hers. She's, oh, she's on the ball. Everybody up with the potatoes. She's lazy, she said. <laughs> Mind you, my mango's a bit ripe, so it's a little bit hard to peel. <laughs> oh. Down the same bugger, no salsa for us then. Why? You can do it with just tomato. Do it with just tomato, do. And you've got an apple in your bowl. It's just the, the sweet and the, if you have the sweetie fruit mixed with the chilies and everything else, you can do it. But you can do it with just a salsa with the thing. Go chuck some alcohol in it. Get some vodka in there. You, got, you must have vodka. I'm sure B's got vodka. Mark said he's got apple. There you go, apple But liquid apple. Uh, liquid apple don't work. Cider. Yeah. Frozen fruit? Frozen fruit, nah. Who's frozen fruit? Darren. Nah. And you've got a fruit bowl. You must have a fruit bowl, Darren. Go look in that fruit bowl. If not, you can literally just go with the onion, jalapenos, and, uh, and the, um, what's the other thing? Jalapenos, onion, tomato. You, you can just go that. I mean, tomato is a fruit, believe it or not. It has a pick, so tomato is a fruit. Jess said, do you need the juice from the pineapple? Nah, drink it. Drink it with vodka, Jez. Yeah. Vodka. Put vodka in your pineapple juice. Job done. Darren's got apple. He's got an apple. There you go. Chop an apple up in it. That just uh, just made the difference. Right, so I have pineapple. So I'm chopping down that way because the pips there. So we're taking that bit off, which is like the arse cheek of the, the thing. We, I call it like the cheek. So you can go right away down and then right away down there and you get like fleshy bits. So it's just like that. But what well, it is, it's like the butt. No, Mark said, can we use Jack Spice Bowls? For. <laughs> Probably the vodka. Right, I still don't know if everybody's up for potatoes. Right, so there's my pip in the middle. So now I'm just going to go around. Hang on, this way can I do that. I'm just going to go. Round like that, round like that, and then just take that last bit off there. Then you end up with just sort of like a pippy bit like this. And this, just dice up, don't worry about like really small or fine, just, just chunk it in there because the is great. It's, Chop it up any old hour. Say hi to Lee from Wider Street, ask how the baby is. Oh, Lee's on there, isn't he? Yeah. Alright, Lee, mate, how you doing? Did you see I posted you up the other day with your, your pie man when you was at uh, Steelhouse? Advertising the company. That was a little lad, I did see him the other day. In... Oh, he's driving with him, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> in a funny little video. If you hang around in a minute, you might be on it, I'm pretty sure you're on the playlist. Right, so is everybody chopping their fruit up? Get your fruit chopped in your bowl. It's quite big. I don't want like a silly ass little fine. What's that? Mark said he's um, on the third side, he's ready for a shot. Ah, shots, I forgot that. Who's watched Navy Seals? It's Navy Seals. It's on, um, you actually freeze me as well, then. <laughs> Stop touching things. Just literally, just, uh. Right, Navy Seals, Hello, Sky so One, sure. it's brilliant. But what they do is, when they go in for like some mission and they have to shoot everybody, they have a checklist. Every time they do something, it's like, shh, they tick it off. So I think every time we do a stage, we have a shot. Okay. We've done Bombay Potatoes. So, if you've done your Bombay potatoes and they're ready, 
to go in the oven, you can have a shot. Shot of choice for me today, Dead Man's Fingers Pineapple Rum. So everybody, shots up. <clears throat> it's quite strong this as well. Though. Do I not get one? <laughs> <laughs> Steve, Steve Tomo is watching. Alright, Tomo. Alright, she's having a, she's shot in as well. So, if you've done the bomb potatoes, get yourself a shot. Yeah, you've got to sign up for it. Oh. Right, everybody shot it up. Right, salsa, fruit, dice. Ooh, that's nice. Take your tomatoes. I went for little plum tomatoes, whatever you've got. Just <laughs> dice them up, chuck them in there. Don't really matter. That's Hit the way to cook in. Is on one tin okay? Oh, yeah. So, uh, one tin of pineapple is that okay? 227 oh, grams. Yeah, that's yeah. close. Because yeah, it's, it's only sort of you that's yeah. eating it. But this will keep for uh, the salsa, will keep for uh, sort of four or five days in the fridge. Um, so, later on, if you've got like a piece of ham and a roll, have that with salsa in. Mental. See, this is when the beauty of having a chopper comes in, it's, it's like a spoon as well. Lucy, can you watch your fingers? Just You're making her nervous. Is that, Lou? <laughs> right. <laughs> onion. I always use red onion for salsa. Hopefully you got red onion. If you've got white, don't matter. Red onion is just a lot more sweet and it's not as violent as um, white yeah. onions. White onions can be a bit... <laughs> I purposely didn't cut none of this up because I thought if we all do it together then hopefully we'll keep up. But if people are struggling with it, perhaps next time I'll tell you the dice at all. I don't know, people have to let me know. Right, so Bombay potatoes done I hope. Everybody should be on to their salsa now. Um, we aren't having Bombay potatoes or salsa, that's Ed Farvin, so he's just gonna drink. <laughs> he's just waiting. Well we're about five minutes away for chicken, right? So, diced onion. So in here now, look at the colours of that. I have mango, tomatoes, diced onion. Let's give that a stir around. <laughs> Josie, do I have to pay your royalties for playing this? Yeah. <laughs> Saturday night, yay! Lime, we want lime. If you haven't got lime, if you can't ever get limes, this stuff's like cracking. It's just like lime juice. Throw it everywhere then. But yeah, you can do that, but I have fresh limes. Little I have fresh limes. That's a touch hard, so what I'm gonna do, I show everybody in the marinade. Put it on your block. Sort of roll it over your hands, break down the inside. If you break that down, it all starts to juice up. That still feels a little bit hard. Pop it in the microwave. Well, we nearly done salsa. We've done salsa. We get another shot. For all those that haven't done bomb potatoes, you've got to have a shot anyway. For not doing it, haven't you? If you haven't done salsa, you need to have a shot. Salsa, but can I smash out egg fried rice while this is happening? No, it will go cold, will it? Nah. Tell us, Martin Hill. Tell us why. No, wait for your egg fried rice because you will. The, the chicken dish is going to take about half an hour to cook. So your your ricey people, I'll be. Telling you when it's... Yeah, but is he cooking from scratch, the rice? Are you cooking rice from scratch? You're cooking rice from scratch, maybe put it on and then you can do Get it. Get your water in there. fried bit. Right, so the lime. Give it a little roll, 20 seconds in the microwave. <clears throat> Take a fork, stick it in there and twist. And then you literally get all that juice. Out of there. I've just got a whole, whole lime in that. Touch of olive oil, just a little glue, tablespoon, tops. Um, a little bit of salt. Let's 
Oh, from scratch. That's from scratch, old. yeah, you can pop his rice on. And then now, my favourite, jalapenos pickled in brine. Just take as many as you want of these, however hot you like it. And just dice it up. Right, again, just rough dice. I'll probably take two good handfuls. I didn't realise it'd take this long to do this plate. I thought I'd have all this done. But we'll be on ten minutes, five minutes, and then we're going to be on with... Um, 25 to 7. Yeah. We're still good for half seven, trust me. Right, so... Oh, um, Claire missed a bit. Did the whole lime juice go in the salsa? Yeah, I've got a whole one in mine. Jack, but it's, it's how much, however you like it, Claire. If you like it nice and zesty and a bit of fight in it, you probably do, know you? Jack went it. to pick the lime up this afternoon and tried to eat it. He thought it was kiwi. Yeah, not kiwi, Jack. <laughs> not kiwi, Jack. So now, there's my salsa. Get your hands in. Get, your hands are clean. You've been cooking. Jack said, what did Barry just put in? Jalapenos. Jalapenos. You can put fresh chilies in if you want to give it a bit of a kick. I just like the pickled jalapenos, I love them, I put them in a lot of stuff in our pies and everything. So now I've, that's my salsa there, you see it, nice and chunky, now it's like all mushed up stuff, I want to taste it. And if you want to do this for your burgers, you know, when you're barbie out, when the sun comes out, do something like this, fruit, jalapenos, onions, tomatoes, lime, salt and pepper, bit of olive oil, look at that, that is amazing. And just leave that on the side, don't put it in the fridge, leave it on the side, let all, all the stuff sort of soak in and get going. Yeah. Is it shot time? Yeah. Right, so salsa done, shot time, that's tick two. As the um, alpha mayos, whatever they call themselves from the Navy Seals do. Uh, we've got to put the shot, oh, yeah, shot sure, fast. We go different. Yum. We go coconut Coconuts. this time, coconut rum. I don't know, funny enough, it's like Malibu. Can I pineapple? Cheers, everybody. Jalapeno Another job done. Tomorrow, so Jen can have salsa without it. Aww, nice. Split it in half. Who's that, Mark? Mark, yeah. Split it in half. Take a handful out for Jen, put all your other stuff in, take a handful out, and then put the jalapenos in for you. Or the other way around, so you can literally just divide between two bowls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not like... <coughs> that's not like Malibu. <coughs> well, that's slightly stronger. That's nice though. That's like punchy... <laughs> oh, punchy coconut. Mark says cheers. Cheers, Cheers. This is uh, it's not mine. <laughs> this way I might not get through this. <laughs> right, so now, now we've got to hold on. Now we need to make sure everybody's up to speed now. What I need to know is can I start the chicken? I have Bombay potatoes it's done, I have salsa up. done. Give me thumbs up, let me go, or let me let me know. How's Gemma doing? Gemma, Gemma who? Uh, Matt's Gemma. Gemma. Matt's Gemma, how are you doing Gem? Gem and Dill. How's Helen doing? We're not hearing much from you, Helen. She's waiting for the chicken. Oh, you're waiting for the chicken, eh? You're probably... Mark's saying he's using the lines on tequila. Yep. <laughs> Does vodka go in the salsa now? You can put some vodka in the salsa if you want. Just, but you only want about half a shot. You don't want to flood it because you still want to taste the things. But the vodka goes in there. Like anyway. It goes... Yeah, but you don't taste it in there, do you? Because, I mean, we're not vodka fans either because no. we had some vodka and that's what we use it for. That's how I end up coming up with that. But yeah, just put like a half a measure of vodka in there. It just gives it a bit more zing and everything. Josie's run out of vodka. You run out of vodka, Josie. Uh, Matt's potatoes still cooking, but caught up with everything else. Potatoes are still cooking. Helen's pissed. Helen's drunk, okay. And Helen West, West, West is ready. Right. Oh, Jed, Jed Benson. Hello, Jed. Hello, Jed. She's got thumbs up from that. I didn't know she was cooking. You cooking, Jed? We didn't know you was cooking. That's this. another name we put down just to make sure we keep everybody up. Right, so I have a few veggies today. I know. Disappointing, uh, these veggie people. No. <laughs> Sorry, Claire. But 
I'm going to do two <laughs> options. So we're doing the veggie option for them guys. We're doing the chicken for like us lot. But I'm going to be double cooking, so I'm going to be doing both of theirs at the same time. Oh, I told Jess to watch now. Oh yeah, daughter's yeah, she she could watch. She, she couldn't be, she couldn't be bothered to watch this like little rabbit tail, you know. <laughs> so we're going to be cracking on with that. So I'll start with the main one, and then I'll quickly go over the veggie one. But it's pretty similar. They both in marinade. Right, so you need a little clear down now. Get rid of all your stuff that you've finished with, because all this is done. We need a little bit of space. You need to grab your chicken, so it should be marinating in the fridge. There's my set of marinade. It's been there since yesterday. The reason we marinate this in the in the yogurt is it's a bit like um, it intensifies the flavour and it makes your chicken not dry. So when you go to these fancy restaurants or burger places and they offer you did you throw it then? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's a drink. It's getting to me already. I'm not cooking, just saying, having a laugh, watching you cook. Cheers, everyone. Whoever that was. Tracy. Tracy. Woo! Right. Yeah. So we have the <laughs> marinade in there. So that, that basically, you marinate it, and all the flavours soak into that chicken, and they don't go dry, which you will notice in a minute when you're eating it in about an hour's time you notice how moist it all is. So when you get these posh restaurants and they have burgers, like buttermilk, chicken burgers, that's all they're doing, all they should be doing. They should be taking your chicken breast, putting it in buttermilk, and then leaving it overnight. It just makes your chicken mint. Right, so I have that there, that's mine. So to try and keep it similar for the veggie people, I told them to get mushrooms, yogurt, and all the spices we did yesterday, and some part-boiled cauliflower. So we've got that in the marinade, because I want to try and keep them having the same sort of sauce as us. Whether this works or not, I ain't got a clue, because I've never done nothing like this before. This is my first time doing a veggie one, but we'll see. <clears throat> um, the only thing is I missed out. I told everybody else chickpeas, but I've kind of missed the chickpeas. I've just got mushrooms and um, cauliflower. Right, so if everybody's good, we're going to crack on with the next stage. Right, I need to know now that everybody's got salsa done, everybody's got potatoes done. Up. And then everybody's got, um, had their double shots that you should have had. Because then, if we're all good to go, the next thing to do is check your Bombay's in the oven. You all should have had your ovens on one night, eh? Bombay's. Flip them up the top of the oven, because you can always drop them down and turn My the oven off. My husband's just asked about marinated, and Gary Oops, no. answered without us. Oh, oh okay. So, um, Tracy's husband asked about marinating and you just answered it without... Mm -hmm. Oh, I answered it, right? Yeah. Okay. Right, I'm going to crack on now, I'm going to start, because I'm assuming everybody's good to go. What's what? Matt said, should his potatoes be crispy or soft? He's boiling them, isn't he? Yeah. Why would they be crispy? Why are you having crispy potatoes yeah. if you got them in boiling water, Matt? Oh my god. <laughs> Don't quite get away. You, know, you should boil them in water for ten minutes, and then you should strain them off, and they're like what we call part cooked. Because that's how you should do your roast potatoes. Perhaps if you're doing roast potatoes, when they go in the oven. I don't know. Well, it should be in the oven yet yeah, because you're going on here. But roast potatoes, boil your potatoes for like ten minutes, strain the water off, chuck loads of salt and pepper in, chuck a handful of flour in there, shake it. Chuck them in our oil and get crispy potatoes every um, time. Ed said Jacob is supposed to be going to bed, but he wants to watch you, his dad cook the. Right, chicken's coming, Ed. Right, oh. ah, chef, I need a pan. Oh. Right, so, you want a nice heavy pan. I've got two, I'm using this one here. It's a little bit too whatever, you're better off with a wok. My wife's just washing the wok. We've only got one wok, we're not posh people. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah. If I was on it, we should have been using wok for Mark. Anyway, so get your wok, you want to chuck some oil in it, and then we're going to like start the next stage. Right, them shots are going to my head now, I'm getting started. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit, a little bit tipsy Ow. now. Right, so basically, 
this is where you want your next bit of onion. You want a sliced onion up. Just turn them down. But you're going to have to bear with me because I'm double doing now, so you lot are probably going to catch up. So you want to put a bit of oil in your pans. Don't turn them on. Don't turn them on yet. You want an onion sliced up. I'm assuming everybody. said get some shots down, Gary. You <laughs> machine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need no more shots, honestly. honestly. I'll, I'll have another one in a minute. I'll, I might, uh, I might not get to chicken. Is this ginger? Ginger, yeah. Oh, give them a shout out. Most of the skin of Right, so, again, roughly slice an onion up. I'm doing two lots here, so you just. Go with the one pan for you lot. You want some onion in that pan. I'm having to look at my bloody recipe. I never, I never look at my recipe. I can't remember. All this talking, I can't do it. How do they have a sign day to it? They probably do it without shots. Ah, chili. Chili, right. You need fresh chili in there. How hot do you want it? You want a mild one, just put a quarter of chili in. And a hot one, put two or three chilies in. So this is how, this is where you lot decide what you want. Again, seeds in there. None of this rubbish about taking seeds out. Seeds, where's the heat? That's where the heat is. I used to take them out. No. Oh. What the worst thing going? You're having chili. You gotta have chili, yeah. in you? Well, you're not gonna have chili. You're not gonna have seeds. Just don't, you know. So I'm gonna make the veggie one milder, and I'm gonna have me chicken one. I'm gonna have that a bit spicy. <laughs> All right. So chili's in there. So we should have, in your pan, you should have your onion and your chilli, a bit of oil. Could you put some lime in for Mark and he can have another tequila shot? Lime's coming in a second, not yet. Right, so, oh, ginger and garlic. So for all those people that had their, got chopped ginger, you haven't got to worry about chopping stuff up, just take it out of your jar. Pop that in, remember we shouldn't have this on the heat yet. So, clove of garlic. Or if you really like garlic, put two in, you know, it's highly up you. you, you do whatever you want. Here you go. If you have that, put the garlic underneath it, yeah, give it a bash down, it flattens it out, it like breaks the like little pulp yeah. down and then you can just peel it off nice and easy, it's like the best way to do it. And then just roughly chop that up, so like I say, one garlic, two garlic. Uh, Jess said, what's with the onion? Have they not got one? Well, you should read the recipe, Jess. <laughs> right, ginger. So if people have ginger, if you've got the real stuff, you should have like some rooty little thing like that. One of the great ways to do this, if you've got like a big, <clears throat> big bit like that that's nice, take a potato peeler. And you can just peel all down that. Oh, Mark's mum's just joined in. He's going to have to behave now. No shots for Mark. Are you still there, Lee? Riders. Yay! Right, so. Take a peeler. <laughs> peel it off. You've got a nice chunk of ginger. You, again, this is all about taste. If you want like the spicy, fragrant, gingery sort of taste to it, put more in, put less in. I'm going with about a teaspoon in mine, so. Dragon's turn. Right, let's just check off my recipe. So we have the garlic's in there, the ginger's in there, the sliced onions, the fresh chilies. And now we're going to turn this on. We're going to get this heated up. Has everybody put their Bombay potatoes in the oven? Cat's <laughs> there. 
Right, so now, flip them on. Again, we don't want these too high. We don't want to burn them. We just want to infuse all them flavours. So you do it over a sort of a gentle heat and just get everything breaking down and stuff like that in there. If you start, if you crisp it, you just end up with a burnt taste of your curry and it's not as good. So you just oil, oil, chilli, gingers, garlic, burnt garlic, it's like gross. So oil in there, chilies, ginger, onions, garlic, and then just gently, and it'll all sort of... Ed Farthing said you can handle a chopper. I can handle a chopper. Again, if you want more onions in there, you like your onions, chuck more in, not a problem. Mark said it's in the oven, so he's going to have another shot. Is it shot time? So we've done oh that part? Oh my god, I yeah. don't think I can do another one. What's the last? Here, yeah, with me again. <laughs> oh. Coffee. Coffee. Coffee rum. <clears throat> right, so you should be having a nice smell now. Can you smell that garlic? I can smell it. And that, my smell's terrible. We're getting the garlic, the chilies, the onion, the ginger. It's all coming up now. And this, hopefully, you should all be at this stage. You should have salsa should be over there, ready to go. Bombay potatoes should be in that oven. Now we should have these bad boys going here. Hopefully you're all doing that. See, I ain't got my glasses on, so I can't even read these messages I'm seeing here. I'm totally reliant on her. <laughs> I'm not having comments for a little while. I think I'm still in it. Yeah, still there. Oh, there we go. Ooh. So you can see that. If, you, if we had smell a vision, you could just smell that. But it's just in the oil very nice. Obviously, I'm doing two pans here, so don't get confused. We've got one veggie option, we've got chicken. Uh, chicken's that way, veggies are that side of the ring. Right, so for all those that had the garam masala, they're going to need that now, so grab that to hand. I've got curry powder, you can get garam masala. Yeah, it does the same sort of thing. So you're going to want, in a second, we're going to want to chuck in about a teaspoon, two teaspoons of garam masala into there, and a touch more oil, and then we're going to chuck in our chicken. Hopefully now you're getting nice smells, skin curry curry, it feels like I'm in an Indian. Oh, didn't have any coffee shop did I? <laughs> no. They don't have onions in so Jess is using garlic. Yeah, don't, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, I'm at the stage now where I can start putting my chicken in, I can see everything sort of gone like a bit translucent, the onions have gone like a what you kind of call like sea fruity like type stuff. So I'm going to chuck in chicken in there, veggies in there. So you lot should be pretty much the same stage as me. Oh, nice sound. Woo. Right, but so you want all the marinade in because you want all that yogurt in there because that's part of the sauce. Oh, really? Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we don't... Uh, Scrape all that out of the bowl, don't leave none of that in there because that's just... When do the fresh tomatoes go in? Uh, I'm assuming that's Mark. No, Geraldine. Geraldine, not yet, not yet. Just wait, just follow me. You should have had them onions and all that in there. Now you should be chucking the chicken in. Now flip that up, get some heat in there now because now we want that chicken to cook. Um, should we um, should we put in the uh, garlic masala in? That's Mark. Oh shit! Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you can chuck it in now. It doesn't matter. It's lucky. It's lucky someone's on the board, isn't it? <laughs> right. So rewind like about a minute, <laughs> and then wait, I've got onions I've in got there frying. There. So now pop in two teaspoons of your yeah, garam masala. <laughs> Don't put your chicken in yet. You put that in after the garam masala. 
<laughs> oh, you just put it in now. Jump to it now. I'm actually watching that now. <laughs> Sorry, my pad keeps freezing. What? My pad is that? Jazz. That's right. Oh, Tracy says you're having too many shots. I know. <laughs> that's not your sister, either. Well, that's, that's not my sister, Tracy. Okay. <laughs> Right, so flip the heat in that now. <laughs> what is this playing? Music? Who is it? I don't know. I don't know, it's on the, on the phone. Is it clutch? Tracy said no, she's not your daughter. <laughs> daughter, not my daughter, my sister. Oh, sister. Sister. Or oh, Harry. Harry, Tracy's changed the name. Harrison. Harrison, Harrison, yeah. Nice. Oh, I forget how it's called Tracy all the time. <laughs> or Harry when I remember. Right, so anyway, now we should have chicken on there going. Change your Spotify. Why? What is this? Oh, that's the Harry Potter one. Harry so you stop doing things like that and you start screwing the whole system up. Yep. Right, so chicken in there, that should be going. Uh, the veggie options, what's it looking like for you? Mine looks a little bit watery, my veggie option. Dave's curdled uh, yoghurt. Who? Uh, Ed Farben. Ed Farben's curdled yoghurt. Um, Lisa smells amazing. Toya, yes, See, uh -huh. That's kind of what mine's looking like edible? there. <laughs> it's not edible. Jersey. The moose cake, yeah, yeah for Is you, the probably. Cake yeah. Still edible? Yeah, she'll yeah. just have it. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> for you, it seems to last like about four months, so you can still like dig something out of the back of the tour van and eat it. I know. We, you we, ring me and you tell me you're eating one of my gave cakes. Her I'm boxes like boxes of cakes, and she ate them two weeks after. I'm like going no. Oh, toy at her last piece yesterday. Oh, it, it will keep-ish, but not, not as long as Josie wants it to keep. <laughs> right, anyway, while we're waiting here, Sorry. we've got some diced tomatoes that we're going to put in here, haven't we? So, dice some up. I'm, I'm just going to put about half a dozen plum tomatoes in. Just, again, rough. You don't have to put these in, but we're going to put in tin tomatoes, and we're going to put in diced tomatoes. I like the combination of both. And chopped. Yeah, uh, tin tomatoes... And don't, don't be put off with tin tomatoes. Just because it's tin, the flavour mm -hmm. that gets absorbed into them tins, it like marinades over the time that it's in there and it gives... Tin tomatoes are amazing. What about Passata? Shut up. Shut up. Oh, right, it just keeps on. Uh, Mark's yoghurt is curdling. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about no yoghurt curdling. It'll all... Claire has overcooked her cauliflower earlier, so she's going to put mushrooms in now. Yeah. We'll add cauliflower in a bit, looks good. Yeah, Claire, you're a good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you veggies probably know better than me what you're doing there. So. <laughs> right, so, dice up your tomatoes. Now, you should have this. As you can see, mine there, that's my chicken, that's boiling away. That's what you should be looking like. We, it's almost like a curry anyway, already. So, I'm going to dice half a dozen like little plum tomatoes up, just roughly. Has Lisa missed the butter stage? No, no butter stage yet. Butter, last thing. Butter is the last thing. That's like the pièce de résistance. <laughs> So pips and all, don't worry about taking no pips out. Just roughly chop up some tomatoes. Oh my god, Toys just said butter. Did I miss butter? She's having a toy, you've got to be having a laugh. It's called freaking butter chicken. <laughs> Seriously, you, you got to have, you, you, you did this mess with me. Right, so tin of tomatoes, right, and then bad boys out. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh, I really want to see these live. 
Yeah, I mean, I just, I just wish we could actually watch everybody back there, and it'd be hilarious. Matt was saying you can do it on Zoom, but there's too many doing it. If you add like half a dozen here, yeah, it'll work. Right, well, my veggie one, because obviously you don't have to cook it, it's kind of looking like it's there. <laughs> So I'm going to Gary, tell you. what's my potato supposed to look like from the oven? Who's that? Jazz. Like that, like little tiny roast potatoes. And you should take them out, you'll just smell like little curry potatoes. And they're still a little bit away yet. But this will all come together. We can like turn the ovens down and we can turn that up and we can turn that off and turn it out. Just make it all come together at the same time, it's not a problem. But they should be looking like little mini roast potatoes. Oh, smells so nice. Right, now people are going on about curdling. Right, now you can see mine's starting to curdle a little bit. Not a problem. Mm. In a minute, when we get that butter in there, the butter just brings the whole shenanigans back to what it should be. Right, so now I'm going to start adding some of the other ingredients that we need to add. So tin tomatoes. So I'm, I'm assuming everybody's up to the same stage as me. Um, your chicken's probably nearly cooked by about now, if you put it on the same time as me. So now we're going to chuck in some of the other stuff. So chopped tomatoes, fresh tomatoes. They're going in there. I'm going to chuck in... <laughs> A tin of tomatoes into that one because that's a full portion chicken. So if you're only doing it for two, it's put half a tin of tomatoes in. Do you want 100 people on Zoom? Yeah, but how could I watch 100 people on no, that? No way. <laughs> right, ignore this part. This is tomatoes going in the veggie. I'm behind though. <laughs> I'm well ahead of you. Haven't seen you drink any hardly at all. Who's that? Mark. Oh, Jesus, really? My head's going, mate, I tell you. I'm trying to remember that. I can't even see what my drink is. It's there. Is, is it only fresh tomato for the chicken? Tinned. You've got tinned tomatoes. You should have tinned tomatoes. It's Jess. Your tinned tomatoes, Jess. My daughter, she's absolutely useless. They're missing like half the ingredients. You only have to ask me. They're only over the road, so you practically might need to come over and get some. Right, so now I've added my tins of tomato and my fresh tomatoes into that. Now you can see I've got a nice sauce in there now. So that's, that's going. That's what we should all be looking at. Right, so at this point, people who are doing rice, I should have mentioned about 10 minutes ago, I kind of forgot, you should uh, probably pop your rice on and get that ready, but the chicken can wait like 5 minutes, 10 minutes, it's not going to, you can just keep it sort of going. I think Martin Hilpert is on about half an hour ago. Martin Hilpert is on half hour ago, did he? Yeah, but this is live TV, <laughs> so th this is what happens, isn't it? Right, but we go with this, this stuff is just, it's like 50p a packet, it's brown rice, I love brown rice, it's much more healthier for us. And uh, cooking brown rice is a right ball ache, it takes forever. I pop this in the microwave for two minutes and it's done. It's amazing, we just use this all the time now. So that's what we're going with. But if you've got proper rice, kick it on now, get it going. There's my salsa, oh, I can't wait to taste that. Loving this, she keeps going. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Sorry. Beer has gone. Oh, beer has gone to red wine now, Lisa. Yay! Beer and red wine. Good one, Lisa. Yeah. It's David there. It's David drinking red wine. What red wine are we drinking tonight, David? Uh, Malbec. We're on Malbec. You don't like Malbec, do you? 
pretty sure he was tagging Mal back off the other day. Have I missed the line bit? Is it still no. to come? That's Matt. No. Line bit is like last thing. Butter oh, is last it? thing. Next thing is a little bit of tomato puree, just to give that a little bit more red colour. Can I just cut in there? Helen yep. West said, mine looks grainy. Yep, don't worry about that. Has she got her tomatoes in? And just says, mine very watery. Pour it down, let it all. Um, she hasn't, Jez, you haven't put no water in it, have you? You don't need no water in it. Just that tin of tomatoes. Right, I'll pick up my veggie one. David is on Melbourne. Oh, I thought you said he didn't like Melbourne. I'm on potatoes. I thought he was like. No, he was like. Who, who was moaning about Melbourne the other day? Oh, that was Joe, wasn't it? Joe Constable. I'm right, so there you go. Look, there's my veggie one. Nice, thick. That's cauliflower in there, mushrooms, onions, tomatoes. That's pretty much ready. That's ready for the other stuff. But I'm going to have to turn this down or off now. Just purely because that's ready for everybody else. So if you have veggie options, you can turn it off a second. Let, let the chicken people catch up. <laughs> chicken people keep up. No, catch up. It takes longer to cook the chicken, doesn't it? Because the veggies is like already cooked. Right, so this is what we should be looking at at the moment. I'm just stirring my tomato puree in there. So I've got, I mean, you could say it's watery, but it's not. It's like a thick, saucy chicken curry, basically. This is what you should be looking at. <coughs> Don't worry about the little bits of, um, like, your people are saying it's grainy. That's just the yogurt. That will disappear I mean, once we have this butter and stuff. In. But there you go. My veggie one doesn't look like yours. Who's that? Claire. Why doesn't it look like my Claire? Should do. <laughs> right, so now I reckon we're ready for a little bit of lime in there. Again, same process you could use lime juice. I'm actually down to my end, so I might use a little bit of this on my chip. Because I want to save that for like a gin and tonic or something. Ed just lathered his man in. Oh my god, garlic butter. Sort of bloody food. Where is the next shot? <laughs> Right, so good, oh my God, good squeeze of lime. Good squeeze of lime in there, like a whole lime in. in He's your, worse than Mark and Jersey. But a good squeeze of lime in there. Um, yeah, what else? You keep putting me off. I'm trying to do this, and you're putting me <laughs> That's off. That's them. <laughs> right, so. Lime in there, that's going. Next, we are looking at a pretty sure. I'm going to check the recipe again. Mark's drawing. Mark James has drunk all his beer now. He's drunk all his beer, we're saying, it's oh, it's, JD it's the butter next. It's, <clears throat> it's the best bit. <laughs> right, so I'm actually looking at my veggie one. It's just slightly too thick. So if you've got a slightly too thick one, just pop. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said that, that sounds a little bit rude. If yours is slightly, there's no other way of saying it, you might have a slightly thick one, I don't know. Helen went coriander. Coriander? <laughs> so the slightly thick one, if you've got a thick one, you need to pop a little bit of water into it. So that one there is just a little bit pasty, so I'm just going to pop half a cup full of water in just to bring it back. I need limes in the chicken. One. Recipe says two. <laughs> put two in there. If you like lime, put two in. Be daring. Lucy has added water. Now it's gone weird. Ah, oh, when did it you know? <laughs> I only said I had water, Lucy, if it goes slightly thick. <laughs> right, this is what you should be looking at. This is mine, right? That chicken there is pretty much 
good to go. Boys are a little thin. Your wife is a filthy laugh. Thank you. I've always said my wife has a filthy oh. laugh. Everybody says my wife has a filthy laugh. I'm not going to laugh anymore. Right, that. See, that's what you should be looking at. I mean, that's just like amazing. I haven't even tasted this yet, but I, I just know that. it's going to be the nuts. That's better than water. <laughs> butter. Right. So you should have a packet of butter, or if you're Toy Wilcox, you probably haven't. You literally now. It sounds weird, but I'm going to put three quarters, well, I'm going to have to do halves because I've got two. But you lot need to put between half and three quarters of a packet of diced butter into that. Who's the postman? The postman says, butter is better. What? Right, so I'm going Lucy with... Lucy said, should we drain it a bit? <laughs> if, she's, if Lucy's is too wet... <laughs> If Lucy's is a bit fluidy, take a little bit out. Right, now this actually will help to thicken it. Butter, believe it or not, emulsifies and it like uh, does stuff. So, right now, I've got about three quarters of a packet Geraldine of butter. Geraldine said, when do you get almonds going? Almonds are garnish at the end with fresh coriander, just sprinkled across the top. A bit like salt beef does when it goes like that. Like, whatever. So, butter, just chunk it in there. <laughs> Joseph's curdled. You don't have some curdled, Josie. Just <laughs> put the butter in there. <clears throat> so literally, I've just got like chunks of butter in there. Just boil it, let it go in. Don't stir it, just let it all go in. So as we put butter in, is that shot time? If you've no, got the Danco butter in, Jones. you're allowed a shot. Danko James, who knows Danko James? Mock James! Oh, uh, shot for you! <clears throat> Coconut. <laughs> Coconut rum. So, if you're at the butter stage, you get a shot. <laughs> Girl, well, I don't know, this is crazy. Too, 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 too much nap. Right, so now you need nice. your butter's like sort of going across. Just, just shake it. Try not to stir it, just shake it in. Give it a little. Right, so now we've got that butter in there. That's everything's gone into that Jordan ingredient. Said, what about the almonds? Oh. Geraldine, keep quiet and just come into that. Right, you, you need to shut up for two seconds. Just let me explain the next bits. Right, so now we've got the butter in there. So this is where you get yourself a little teaspoon. No double dipping. You don't have to double dip, especially with COVID. So double dipping, no double dipping is allowed. Right, so have a taste. You might need a little bit more salt now. <clears throat> Entirely up to you. You might want to pop a little bit more curry powder in if it's not hot enough for you. You might want to put a little bit more lime juice in. It's basically all down to whatever your taste requirements are. And it is getting hot in here. Is it hot at your place? I'm absolutely... I'm like... Long as the cat don't escape. Jess, the cat's fine. So I've got that butter's going in now and it's giving me a nice sort of taste. So if, even if you want a... Even if you want a little bit more tomato taste, give another squat of the tomato puree and this is where you decide <laughs> how it tastes. And I've basically done the same for the veggie bit, I forgot about the veggies. So we've done the same for them. For the veggie guys, you know, you pop your butter in again. Um, again, take if you want a bit more lemon and lime in there, a bit more tomato, you just pop Did you all say that in. It's 7.30, you've got 15 minutes before people have to eat. It's 7.30, that's back on then, isn't it? No, it's 7.14, so you've got 15 yeah, minutes. This is ready. It's pretty much ready now. You, yours should all be ready. <clears throat> Has everybody been checking their potatoes? I forgot. I haven't. Oh. No, but it should be good. 
Potatoes. Potatoes done. Look, I can just prod them. You can feel them. This is perfect. So turn that oven off. Just leave them in there till you're ready. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Right, oven off. Potatoes done. Turn your chicken down. Right now, your butter should have all melted in there. Just turn it down. You don't need to boil it now. It should be cooked. If you cut it nice and thin like I did, it should be good. even bring over the veggie option just to show you but this is a bit tough because this pan's heavy it's like one of them super do for French heavy things that when I hold it like that oh, I feel like my hand Helen said breaking. seriously what about the coriander that she's bought today coriander's coming coriander's garnish you don't want to cook the coriander in two seconds we're gonna flake on our almonds we're gonna sprinkle on a coriander and you want to taste that coriander if you cook it in it you lose it i love and sprinkle coriander. it on the top just chop loads you want loads if you love coriander if you've got fresh coriander i've got it. frozen it's all i can get but Aww. frozen's amazing but chop it up put loads on and it just gives it another Wah. Wah. right look see look at that oh it's still a little bit of butter there but that there <laughs> is the veggie option see that's Today. mushrooms and cauliflower, and it looks the same. What's the difference? Coming over now. Angus. Sorry. And there's ours. You know, can you tell the difference? Gary, you're a bit delayed here. Right, so now, yeah. taste test. Now I'm going to taste mine, see whether I've got them hot enough, spicy enough, limey enough, Did whatever it is. Did you put potato back in the oven? Simon... Potatoes should have been in the oven since we started. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they've been in there. I've just turned my oven off. Oh, right. Ah, I get you. You're asking, have I put them back? Yeah, I've turned my oven off and just oh, put them in there. And it's just going to keep them warm. Hi, my boys all ask about the chilli. They're starving, eh? Right. What about the chilli? In it goes. Just go in now. What chilli? The chilli you should have put in with the chicken when we were frying off the first bit. <laughs> if you've missed it, chop it up now. Do you kids like chilli? Just sprinkle a bit on with the coriander. Mark said, Geraldine, I'll join you if that's okay. Right, taste test. Everybody go and taste it. Let's see where we're at. Oh, Heidi. Hi, Heidi. Sorry. Joseph said, if I'm using ground almonds instead of flour, how much baking powder do I need? <laughs> she is messing with your ratio. I'm tasting, so I'm not listening. That's <laughs> so funny. Right, so for me, I need a little bit more salt in both. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> a bit more salt in both there. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's Heidi. Give a shout out to Heidi. Hiya, Heidi. Right, so I have plenty of lime in mine, but I'm just a little bit shy on chilli stuff, so I'm going to actually pop. A little bit more curry powder. Shouldn't really do this. I probably should have tasted it <coughs> earlier, but I didn't think of that part. Um, obviously, the curry powder it, it just helped a little bit, but I'm going to pop a little bit more in that one. And I might just chuck a little bit of chili in that one, but oh, that mine's spicy. Even though the curry powder is not going to really cook out, you sort of do need to cook curry powder. So there's a bit more curry powder in there. I'm going for a bit more fresh chilli in mine. So, Toya, if you missed yours, just pop some in. <laughs> it just tastes, it just doesn't get right in the sauce, but you've got the flavour in the sauce anyway. So it should be good. <laughs> right, 
right, so hopefully now nobody's got Kerbal stuff because now you've got that lime in there and you've got that um, the butter in there. It should have all come to a nice tomato <coughs> sauce. <laughs> well, I'm going to bring the pan over now. Big spoon, I'm going to show you what we've got. So this is like fingers crossed part of the, the thing for tonight. You should all have something like this. Chunks of chicken in this like amazing sauce. Always saying hi. I can see tomatoes in there and it's, it's just amazing. Oh, I can just lost us. smell everything. So this, oh, Claire Merritt says tastes wicked. This is the part now where we <laughs> add the flaked almonds. You just put. You can either do it straight. I mean, you can serve straight from the pan. Not a problem. I, I don't mind that. Mm. Pop a little like hard surface thing down on your table. Plonk it on the table. You can um, sprinkle the coriander and the flaked almonds across the top, and that just adds another depth to this dish. And you can do that with. Both dishes. Work. <laughs> so coriander, this is what I use. It's it is amazing. Good. Go and get this. It's it's like 50, 60 p. I you mean, it, peanut butter. Yeah, if you want, because it makes it a Saturday. Then uh, you, you put this on top, it's just like fresh, and you can have every, I have basil in there, I have all the sort of little different things in there. Can you not see over me when I'm trying to, how do you do stuff? So now, we've got this over the top. Now you can either put this in the serving dish, and serve it that way, and then sprinkle this over. But you don't want to stir this in, you want this across the top. This is like a garnish. I'm going to serve mine straight from the pan. The thing you will notice, the thing you will notice is you get um, coriander fingers. This is for, if you're using frozen like me. Toya said, Toya said she needs another shot. Coriander fingers. Well, when we've done this, we will have another shot, Toya. Ed said, did he miss anything he has to put the kids to bed? Um, I don't know. We're, we're about to eat, Ed, so have you missed anything? Have you tasted oh it? Claire well, just said, love you pie lady, you sang heart out. I... Flint Almonds, who keeps asking? Jess, <laughs> Gemma, Toya. Yeah, shot time. Toya, you haven't got your... enough time. Wait take, for him. Take your flaked almonds, <laughs> bring them across the top. Your toasted almonds, I have one already toasted in there. <clears throat> Mark needs another shot and Toy does too. Hurricane, Hurricane, Hurricane Susie. It's our favourite band. <laughs> so, right. Oh, my favourite band. I've finished. She's wearing the T. I think she's got the T shirt on. Oh. Hello. <laughs> she done her hair for tonight. <laughs> I'm thinking of that. Uh, go back. <laughs> Uh, together. Yeah, it's back to front though. Oh, okay. Right, shot time. We're done. <laughs> there you go. Butter chicken cooked my way with limes. Loads of butter, loads of tomatoes, sprinkled with I've coriander, got shot, don't almonds. Worry. You should have a nice <clears throat> thick sauce like that, hopefully. Fingers crossed, everybody. Just got that shirt. That's hot. Wow, that's hot. That's the veggie option. So that's cauliflower with mushrooms. Music's finished. It's all quiet. Well done. That was actually a good timing, wasn't it? So we've finished cooking. Music's finished. I cheated, I didn't make the ham bread, so I'm literally just going to fry them off in the pan now for two minutes. Woo! I'm just doing it.
just about to chuck that in the mic for two minutes, <laughs> and then I'm about to plonk a plate for this on the side. Go with shots, be messy. Right, I hope you all enjoyed Darren really, said that. I hope you all enjoyed this. I thought it was good fun. Um, if you want to do it again, we could do Baked Alaska next week. That's what Darren wants. So that'd be pretty. That'd be pretty dicey because Baked Alaska. A lot, I mean, you got to put ice cream Can they actually the pre-cook there? Yeah, um, we, yeah. It, well, we're going to have to pre-do a sauce, a sponge and stuff like that. It'll have to be a, a two-dayer. It'll have to be a Friday night and a Saturday night. Two-dayer? Yeah. Shorter, shorter. But it'll be a two-dayer. And, uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun. A lot can go wrong with the Baked Alaska. A lot of people can have it sliding down and stuff like that. But it tastes wicked, whatever. Anyway, right, so that should all be done. Everybody should now be ready for eating. What, what was my timing like? 25 past 7. Now. I said half past 7. How many people saw it? I can't even see. 30? It's gone. Right, so hopefully everybody's tasted it. So let's have your feedback. Have you all had like a, a little taste? Are we all good? Don't if you we're all good. The fake Alaska. No, yeah. no, no, no. We don't. A blowtorch is cheating. We put it in the oven. That's more dicey. That's more dodgy. Put it in the oven. Anything can happen. Blowtorch is a piece of cake. Anybody can blowtorch it. You two are freaking awesome. Thank you, whoever that was. Darren. Darren. Darren Edwards. We love Darren. Tell me <laughs> to let me let you cook next week and not like. Didn't mean to like slag you off. <laughs> she said, he's done it all, he's done all this, he's done all that. I'm like, bloody hell, you're supposed to wait for me. And then she David goes, oh, is ready. absolutely loving this. That's me, Sam. Dave, oh, we love the crows too. We love the crows. Have we had crows on? I'm pretty sure I put them on your set list. Oh, they're up there. Fucking hell. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Language Timothy. She, she doesn't realise she's being heard. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, crows. Sorry. There, crazy there, there. But everybody done, can I go? I'm starving now, everybody must be hungry. Can we go off and eat? Ready to get my munch on. I know you are thinking where we will put it, Ed. Yes, do another one next week. Oh, it's gone. Crow's Pie Day. Crow's Pie Day? Crow's Pie Day. Crow's, you should come down and bake. Whoever said, Dave, come down and bake. I've got oh, massive it tastes amazing, in. and yes, you too are brilliant, really. Linda, post office, right, is Linda, everybody enjoy good? your meal. Thanks, it's, Guy, this has been fun. I'm bloody starving, I want to go and eat. <laughs> I need to go and get my rice on and fry my naan bread off. Yeah, you can't yeah. just go away. I'm not, I'm enjoy, not enjoy and thank you so much. Oh, Lisa, love Lisa. It's been great. <laughs> so is everybody good? Everybody uh, good? Everybody I'm good? day delay. Oh, amazing. Matt wants you to show us how to do a pie. No way! I'm not doing pies. Lots no of people way. have asked me. But lots of people have Why asked. We do a pie. <laughs> lots of people have asked, and they've asked for like, can we make maple tarts for you? Can we make pastas? Can we make pies? I can't do that. That's my business. That's how I make a living. This is just like some <laughs> little freebie <laughs> and uh, a COVID lockdown I chill out. To you. It's it's just, you know, it's, it's just like something we just do for a bit of fun. I can't give away with trade secrets. <laughs> if I told you I had to make the pies and stuff like that, you'd all just make them yourself and come in the shop and buy them. I can't do that. But anybody has ideas what we can do, you know, I'm pretty open to, to whatever. And bear in mind, I've been a chef for like 20 odd years, 25, 30 years probably. So I'm a little Secret bit... Pastry. Yeah, it is, Darren. I'm a little bit behind on... All of the stuff that happens. Enjoy, in the pie Toya. <laughs> so, if you need to do stuff, uh, give me suggestions. I mean, I like the. What, what's it called? All good. I put my knife. Let's see, what, uh, what's the thing called I want to do next week with the ice cream? Aussie Crunch. No, I'm Jonesy. not going to tell you Aussie no Crunch, am I? Sorry. I can't tell you Aussie Crunch. Mind you, you don't come in the shop, Josie, so if you private message me, I'll give you the recipe. But you can't tell no one. You can tell no, somebody, I'll have to. Oh, that's nice, Lisa. Chicken Palmer for Josie. You've done that in the shop. Hi, brilliant. You are. Oh, sorry. 
Right, Josie, you bring your mum down to the shop and we'll give you a part of the chicken. Matt he says, looking good. Geraldine, who's Matt? Matt's my brother, Geraldine. No, no, Geraldine's actually making it and actually giving it to someone in Sherbourne. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's very brave of you, Geraldine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to your house when you cooked for us before, Geraldine. Did you <laughs> and that's an experience. <laughs> and you're giving that away. Oh, Hopefully yes, I've talked I you through it and you've done a good job. I'm sure yes, you have. Yes, it will be amazing. We got like a slight delay. Like, <laughs> this is where we're talking over oh. each other. She's watching on the iPad and stuff. <laughs> right, I'm bloody starving. Can I go now? I'm really, really hungry. I haven't eaten since like one o'clock because I've been waiting for this. That's so so if you're all ready to go, no more questions. Any more questions, get them in like in the next 20 seconds, otherwise I'm going. I'm counting down, okay? So get your questions in. If you're not there, you need to get it sorted now and then I can talk you through it. If not, go ahead and enjoy this meal. Can you just ask how Jez done? Oh, I think more of the gullet and gourmet. Oh my god, I've got actually really does like a girl of Jess. Right, we're, we're, we're down oh. to 10 seconds now. If you want oh, a question, little Helen. Oh my you god. need to get... I think more of the Galloping Gourmet can be used if you're old, en old enough to remember you used to drink, drink. <laughs> we're on seven. No, um, eight. Oh. <laughs> nine. Ten seconds. I am bloody starving. I need to go and eat by the chicken. Any more questions, private message, mate. I'll sort you out. Love you all. This has been fun. I, love. I, need, to, I need to go and eat something before I pass out. Okay, bye-bye.